I'm Joanna Friend, and this is the TLX Just-in-Time Quick Tutorials for GBC Faculty. Do you want to learn how to ensure your students can make the most out of your learning resources? Follow along to presentations? Stay engaged and feel included? This video will provide you with six tips for creating universally accessible PowerPoint slides. Tip number one. Use the built-in slide templates. All students use a variety of different technology to view your slides. Templates allow users to experience the slides in the same configuration. They also contain all the same formatting, such as color, font, and effects. Tip number two. Be mindful of the intended order of information for your slides. Screen readers read the elements of a slide in the order they were added to the slide. This might be very different from the sequence that you intended. Use a preset layout from the new slide drop-down selection options. Select the layout that best fits your needs. To make sure everyone reads the contents in the sequence you intend, you can check the reading order. In the search section, type in reading order. Click on the reading order pane. Here, you can drag and drop into the correct reading sequence, or you can uncheck certain items to mark them as decorative. Tip number three, use a unique title for each slide. Using a novel title for each slide makes it easier for students to quickly find what they need and keep track of where they are in the presentation. If your content needs to flow over two or more slides, try adding to the title slide one of two, for example. Having a unique title allows all learners to follow along, keep track of time, navigate to the current slide, make connections with class content, and identify slides where they may need clarification or further explanation. All the while supporting students in navigating the content through adaptive technology, like screen readers. Voice over on PowerPoint, presentation two, window, toolbar. You are currently on a toolbar. To interact with the items on this toolbar, press control, option, shift, down arrow. How to check the reading order, slide four of 10 slides, thumbnail. You are currently on a toolbar. To interact with the items on this toolbar, press Control, Option, Shift, Down Arrow. Tip number four, use hyperlinks. Rather than providing the URL of the link, consider creating a hyperlink with a descriptive and appropriate name. Adaptive technology like text-to-speech programs will read out the entire link. This can be confusing, inefficient, and impede the comprehension of the content. All learners benefit from having a named hyperlink rather than listing the website. By creating a name for your link, you can enhance the student's experience of the content by supporting connection to the material you're sharing. Tip number five, use alt text for images and tables. Alternative text is a written description of the image being displayed. To embed text that describes the details in the image, right-click on your image, click Alt Text, and then add a written description. For screen reader users, alternative text communicates what the image is. Without the alt text, individuals using screen readers will not have access to the content in the image you are intending to share. Good cat. Description automatically generated image. A cat that is looking at the camera. Description automatically generated image. You are currently on an image inside of a layout area. Tip number six, use the accessibility checker. Microsoft products, as well as Blackboard Ally, have a built-in accessibility checker, which can help the document author test the overall accessibility of the document. The checker provides inspection results, feedback about the importance of each item, and tips on how to repair issues. PowerPoints are an important teaching tool. Not only will the tips suggested in this video allow for accessibility, the strategies also align with Universal Design for Learning best practices and will make the most of your content expertise. Enhance your students' experience by using built-in slide templates. 
being aware of the order of information on each slide, giving each slide a unique and novel title, minimizing text through hyperlinks, and adding alt text for every visual image you include. And remember, Microsoft Programs and Blackboard Ally have a built-in accessibility checker. It's a great tool that gives you feedback on the accessibility of your content. This has been the TLX Just-In-Time Quick Tutorials for GBC Faculty. See you next time.